So there's a guy in a country who made a game about a block that has a server with a game mode that has an item with far too many videos and I'm going to solve that. Basically, there's a weapon that scales in damage based on how many coins you have called the Emerald Blade. The more money you have, the more damage you can deal, eerily reminiscent of real life. And a testing server was recently released in which you can get practically infinite coins easily. There's just one major problem. To get the item, you have to mine 50,000 emeralds by hand. Which seems hard to get done when you're balancing work, sleep, fitness, social life. Oh, that's better! Another problem is that in the testing server, most of the game was closed off. I need to go to the deep mines to mine emeralds, but it's been closed for a month. Last week, however, they accidentally left the barn open. I went in, farmed potatoes for five hours, and made a video about it. As of today, all the islands are open, so I claim full responsibility for it. The admins realized regular grinding is more fun than the update they've been working on for eight months. So I bought an iron pickaxe and went to the deep caverns to start mining. After 10 minutes, I had 600 emeralds, so this was going to take uh, 14 hours. I wasn't happy about that, and so came forth the experimentation phase. I was determined to lower the required time by finding some useful feature in the game. The fortune enchant gives 30% extra ores, that's perfect for this, but it's unlocked at 25,000 gold collection, making it not worth it at all. Instead, I thought I might be able to get fortune 1 book from enchanting tables in the hub, so I bought sugarcane, turned it into paper with my bare hands, killed some cows, made some books, then found out you can just buy books from the librarian. But it seems the bookshelves in the library are a bit too far away to give enough levels for fortune. I clicked for like 20 minutes, but it never appeared. And this is when I got the help of my Discord, a lovely, welcoming place. For the rest of this video, I was often talking to people in my Discord, and for some reason it only recorded my voice. So it might sound like I'm talking to myself, but I'm 99% sure there are real people you can't hear. And straight away, someone had a brilliant idea, the saving grace. See, normally you can get the fortune enchantment easily by setting up an enchanting table on your island, but private islands are closed in the alpha testing. The saving grace, however, has a unique ability, safely teleports you back to your private island when you are about to die. If I get this item and die, I can go back to my island and get fortune. The only problem is that I need 50,000 ender pearls to unlock it. Luckily for me, there are many ways to speed up ender pearl collection that people discovered the most effective being pearl spamming. So I abused my YouTube rank and got people to travel to the end with me. After about 15 minutes of killing Emnon, we realized this is not worth it. There were four of us collecting the pearls. It was actually slower than just mining emeralds, a brilliant idea that would never come to fruition. I tried looking everywhere for an enchanting table. Romero's house? No. The wizard tower? Only four business days left. My father's gaze? No, the only thing there is disappointment. I desperately tried getting fortune one from the basic enchanting table. Nothing. Next, I tried just being more efficient at mining. I can buy a stonk from the end, the fastest pickaxe in the game. Should increase my speed by a lot. But then I realized it's gold, so it can't break emerald. So instead, I mined some diamond and made a pickaxe. Then I mined some redstone so I could craft two efficiency four books and combine them. I also got out a legendary silverfish pet, which grants haste three. That had the mining speed issue solved, but I was still getting hit by slimes constantly. At first, I was using young armor to run really fast, but I ended up using frozen blaze because it kills all nearby mobs. This is pretty much the best method without trying anything crazy. And it's gonna get crazy. So I conceded that I just had to mine for a very, very long time. I'm about an hour in, and it's not too bad. I've decided to rewatch my childhood favorite movie, Up. What's Up, that is. The far superior version. I don't want that Chinese guy in there with my monsters. He didn't even say anything when I showed him the cookie. Oh, the memories. Then I went to the hub and met someone. A Speedy, the one who would frighten me. I have M-Blade. I wasn't sure if I should believe him, but he threatened to make content with it. I went back to the mines. He came with me, yelling me in chat, claiming he was getting five Emerald Blaze for his co-op group. And then, the admins themselves tried to stop me. They sent forth plagues to oppose me in my quest. First came a server reboot. My mouse jumped across the screen. Then the jump backs, forced to relive the same two seconds for eternity. But I was determined to fight back. Like Perseus fighting against the gods, I was determined to win. We were also having like a, a lightning storm at the time, and I think the lights went out, but that was a coincidence. The admins were definitely against me. And then I checked the leaderboard. I might have only been a quarter of the way there, but I was rank one, meaning A Speedy was a damn liar. I am alone capable of wasting my time for this long. But then I had a thought, before I spend all this time, I should check if it's actually gonna work in the end. So I checked my collection to look at the item and it was gone, just nothing there. Then someone told me that the item had been removed. My heart sank, all this time, the memories of talking to my imaginary friends, the emeralds wasted. I was so sad, I killed myself. In the game, of course. 
I checked one last time. Okay, yeah, no, it, it does cap out somewhere. I'm back on 12 trillion, and it's 800. You see, when I died, I lost half my coins, meaning the blade does less damage now. It seems there's an amount that caused the item to disappear. If I found out what this number was, I could see how much damage the blade would do in its final form. I changed the amount in my purse by buying Dragon Hunter books, selling minor swords, taking points and plotting on a logarithmic graph. I was getting closer, 0.1 away. The exact number could be found on the wiki. I just wasted my time. And you all just read the title, so I wasted yours as well. Turns out it caps out at 999.9 .9 bonus damage, or 26 billion coins in the purse. But the question still remained, what if I make the Emerald Blade, and then I had more than that many coins? What would happen? Would the item disappear? Would it deal infinite damage? Would it break the game? With all this in mind, I pressed on. Back to the mines. And honestly, remove chat. It's given me like three heart attacks in this video alone. I've been doing this for ages, but I am getting kind of used to it. Honestly, it's not too bad. Especially when I get to watch this masterpiece. No, get down, you're gonna fall! Oi, oi, it's... Bloody three in the morning, mate. What are you doing? Ah, I forgot it was 3am and I've been doing this for five hours. And just as a speedy came to attack me, another person came to save me. Island is open, BT dubs. At first I was skeptical, but then I saw something that made me shed a tear. Inferno's crazy is traveling to private island. It was finally time, after I'd already mined 42,000 emeralds, for me to get Fortune 3. I wasn't taking any risks, I didn't know if I could go there multiple times or not, so I stacked up on bookshelves, books, and created an enchanting table. It worked! I'd made it on my island, able to increase my emerald output finally, so I got right to work by first killing Jerry, of course, then got on to making enchanted books. You might think I should play some emerald minions down now to keep me getting more, but one minion takes 80 emeralds, and I've only got two hours left of mining, so it really wouldn't be worth it. The recipe unlocks at 50,000, but I need 51,200 emeralds to craft the blade. And eventually, I had Fortune 3. But that wasn't even the best part of this. I could also get all the enchantments needed to max the Emerald Blade. Without enchantments, swords deal like 5 times less damage. So I stayed here for a while, getting the First Strike, Sharpness, and all the others I could find. Then, back to the mines. I mined for so long that I got the rare rock pet for 20,000 ores, something else no one on the Alpha server has. They only have the legendary rock. Whew, this is it. I've been awake for a... Uh, is the sun the yellow or the white one? 20 more emeralds. Yes! Oh my god, finally! I'm never mining again! I told you to go to bed, just hurry up. I don't need to sleep when I got my emeralds. Okay, here we go. G'day, Jerry. I'm gonna craft it. What's gonna happen? Yes! It worked! God damn it! Finally! Oh, I can't believe it actually worked. I've never been so protective of an item. I'm so scared of dropping this. You'll see for the rest of the video, I kept it in slot 4 because I was terrified of swapping it over and dropping it or it disappearing. So I went to the hub and started putting all the enchants, hot potato books, and reforge on the weapon. Oh, I forgot to get the critical enchantment. Damn it, it's, it's kicking me out. I can't get back in. I tried over and over again, but it seems they've found out my secret and have gotten rid of islands once again. But that's okay. All I need to craft my own critical books is to mine diamonds. Back to what's up! Before I could be bothered finishing that, I went to the end with all the damage buffs I could think of to test my new immense power. 200,000 damage, that's pretty good! Then this guy reminded me there's a tuxedo set, I forgot to reforge, and I was using a silverfish pet. Hmm, how do I make this into a featuring PewDiePie clickbait? After putting on the critical and sharpness enchant, I, uh... I accidentally exited my inventory while still holding the item, which causes you to drop the item. And on the alpha server, items dropped are instantly deleted. But I have mods installed that stop me from dropping things, so we're all good. Although, as soon as I pressed that button, I felt my heart pound in shock. I think I care a bit too much about this game. I managed to do 250,000 damage to a zealot with 26 billion in my bank, and I know people have gotten a lot higher, but this is just damage while running around hitting enemies. No specific bonuses that are impossible to replicate. You could use this all the time and deal way more damage if you had potions. That, however, was only with 26 billion coins. Time to break this. What would happen if I had, say, 10 trillion coins? And this is what I mean. No more Emerald Blade videos. Once I go to Infinity Coins, you can't make anymore. I've taken away content from an already content-starved YouTube community. And it was necessary. I mean, look how many there are. The culling must begin. Once again, I swear I was talking to real people, you just can't hear them. My schizophrenia therapist says they're real. I'm gonna go break my Emerald Blade. Wait, who said... Who said, um... It would give me low speed, because it is. 
I have I have 77% speed right now. Oh, I've kind of unless I'm lagging, I can't talk to NPC. I can't talk to NPCs. Oh god. My regular inventory is a shop now. It, like if if I press E for inventory, like it tells me the price things are going to sell for. I can't move. I have 0% speed. <laughs> he was right. Wait, I can I can still ju if I can move if I'm jumping, but otherwise I can't move. I have 0% speed. And there's like weird visual glitches all over me. There are like tiny ice blocks. I'll try and find some other people. I'll try and change hub. Okay, wait. No, 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 please, God. It was gone. I made it go past a thousand damage and the Emerald Blade disappeared along with two days of my life. I, I feel like I should be like crying right now, but I don't care that much. <laughs> That's it. I. This video is not gonna have a happy finale. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go outside. And so I did. And it was terrifying, not for the normal reasons. When I went outside into the real world, I saw Minecraft emeralds. Any dimly lit area, any bland surface, and I saw emeralds with my eyes. Let me explain. When your eyes don't see all of something, they kind of guess what might be there and fill in the rest. My brain decided to guess that the world is just emeralds because that's all I'd seen for two days. I'm literally looking at this script on my phone and the background is just green dots. I'm scared. I can't prove any of this, but hopefully you can hear the true terror and desperation in my voice. My world literally looks like emeralds and I'm freaking out. Here, I, I, I'll go try and make an image to show you. Here, I did it. It's not great. I'm used to making these kind of photoshops, but this is essentially what I see right now. It's a bit less obvious and the dots are a bit smaller in real life, but this is pretty realistic. I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep. Goodbye.